So one of the you know the stories and uh, some of the things that are again on YouTube when you you know look at some of that stuff is my race at uh, Norwalk. Restaged. It's showtime. fuel car pedaled so many times in one round is what Doug Foley just did. Um, it was an interesting race. It was a rescheduled race again. Um, it ended up being, I think, part of one of their night of thrills or something like that. But <clears throat> uh, we were there and um, they went right into first round. We had a short crew. Uh, if I remember, two of my guys who were related had to go to a wedding or something like that. So we literally had like three guys there to run a top fuel car um, for eliminations. So we win first round. I think we ran Louis Allison, not 100% sure, but we, ran, we win first round. Um, then we go up for second round. And this is a car, like I said, we are struggling to maintenance this car. Absolutely struggling. And we get up there and our opponent is having a difficult time starting the car. And to us, it sounded like, well, they were going to, so the communication was back and forth on what was going on. So we actually waited a second, gave them the courtesy of trying to start their car. That didn't exactly work out for them. And all I'm thinking in the car is, there's no way we can maintenance this car another time. So I go up, don't do a burnout, Pre-stage and stage the car, never even put it on the high side, let the clutch out, literally idle down the track about 10 miles an hour, and well, we win that round. So here we are in the final with Clay Milliken, who we had raced literally six days prior in Maryland, and uh, we ended up on the good side of that one. And uh, here we are six days later running him again, uh, probably midnight. And again, we're in a car that, you know, so I bring the car back. I'm like, I, I don't know what we're going to do here. So we bring it back and I'm like, okay, we can't service this thing. So literally just run the valves, change the oil and let's go. And um, so that's what we did. So it took us all of about 20 minutes to get the car ready for the finals. And uh, with that being said, you know, it was kind of enjoyable going by their pit area as if we serviced it. Of course, we were lying. Um, we never serviced it. And uh, driving by their pit area saying, come on, guys, what's taking so long? You know, as if we did something. And um, so we get up there and uh, we go to run each other. And um, I, I think it was maybe on their mind that we had beaten them six days earlier in a race that they thought they should have won. And um, so... This was when the team was really starting to come around and we were pretty good. So we were going up there with some confidence. Um, and uh, needless to say, uh, I get on the gas. Clay gets on the gas. Fortunately, I may get out there maybe three, 400 feet. I was out there definitely further than he was before he smoked the tires. But inevitably, we both smoked the tires. And um, so here comes this pedal fest where just proves Doug Foley can't pedal a top fuel car. Okay, hopefully I've gotten better since then. That was a long time ago. But um, so after we count it, I believe I pedaled the car, I think it was right, right around 13 times. Um, Clay probably pedaled it four or five, but was pretty aggressive and was going right back up into smoke. And he definitely had that thing sideways. Um, and I, was, I had more of like a bucking bronco type of syndrome going on there where I could not get that pedal under control. But needless to say, I was, uh, as ugly as it was, was good enough to get that thing to the finish line and win that race at about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, which was uh, definitely enjoyable to win two top fuel races in six days. <laughs>